Hello, this is Tomas Matuszczak for Duan's Comp 401, talking about the short of the long on user interfaces. Alright, so now we are dealing with the user. So about about 50% of the code that you write is the actual code that performs the service that you want to give to the user that you're doing for the user. And about 50% of the code is actually the user interface. So the user interface is a huge part of any program, any application. The good news is that we are using Duan's object editor. So we don't have to write any of that code. All we have to do is write the service code. An object editor will interpret that and spit out, hopefully, spit out what we want. Sometimes you have to feed it some more information. You have to feed it some annotations to tell it what to display exactly. All right, so annotations, it's a nifty kind of comment. Normal comments, the one that you do slash slash and then you write something and it turns green, that is completely ignored by the compiler. However, annotations on the other hand are not ignored. They are noted by the compiler and they are available in the program. So here's an example. It's at property names and we have a list of property names in that. Now this kind of notation can be used by object editor because it's actually compiled so it can see, it can figure out what exactly it's supposed to be looking for in your code. Specifically for object editor, we use the annotation structure pattern and we give that an argument and that argument is structure pattern names dot whatever it is the pattern that you are coding. So for instance here we say bean pattern and that tells object editor to look for code that matches the bean pattern and if it's there it'll identify that as a bean and if it's not then it just won't do anything at all a final note on annotations we use tags in our programs we tag our programs and tag our classes to help the graders identify what those are at runtime all right, so how do you use Object Editor to display graphics? Well, basically, first of all, you have to feed it a structure pattern. So if you're displaying a line, then you do structure pattern dot line, point pattern, oval pattern, rectangle pattern, string pattern, and image pattern, depending on what you want to display. Step number two is to code the class with all the methods and all of the parameters that object editor would expect that to have. So here's an example of a line class. We would have to first of all tag it as a structure pattern dot line pattern and then we would have to code this all in and then object editor would know okay that's a line. Now if you want an input box first of all you have to have a variable then you have to make getters and setters for that variable. And it needs to be in a certain naming convention so that object editor knows that you are getting and setting that specific variable. And that will automatically display on compile an input box. An input box displaying the current value and, all, and that allows you to change the value of that variable. And if you just want to display a variable, you'll have that private variable and then you'll only have a getter for it. You won't have a setter. And so that will just display the value. You won't be able to change it. It'll just, it'll just display the value and then there it will be. And so that's the basics of Object Editor. Um, you can look at Duan's documentation on that. Basically, if you feed Object Editor what it expects, then it will display it for you.